Have you ever wondered how one of these get made? Well, today we're here at the Gastonia Traffic Services Department office and we're gonna find out how street signs in Gastonia are made. All right, so I'm here with Justin from the Gastonia Traffic Services Department. And so Justin, how long have you been with the city? Seven years. Seven years, and what's your favorite part of the job? I enjoy helping serve the community out here and help them guide them through the city streets out here. All right, it's also gotta be a little bit of fun to be surrounded by all these signs. I'm a little bit of a sign geek myself. I have my name on a street sign hanging in my garage. Right. And you know, coming into your office and I see all the old signage, like the old North Carolina highway signs. Um, it's, it's gotta be fun to just be surrounded by some of this old stuff. Oh, it is, it is. I mean, it's a lot of history in here with all these signs. I mean, um, I, I'm, I'm into antiques myself. So, you know, this is my, this is my happy place. All right, great. So. Uh, you're going to walk us through how a street sign gets made. Yes, sir. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. So the first thing that we do is we get our work order that morning, and it will tell us whether it's a pre-existing sign that we're just changing out for a newer year or a brand new install. So once we find out which sign that we're going to make for that day, I go on to the computer, into our tap code file, and find the sign and start printing it out. The next process is of course, letting the machine cut out the material for the sign, and then we'll go to our station over here and start weeding out the sign, getting ready for the next process. So once the weeding process is over, we go over to the next station, which is where the shear machine is, and we cut the metal to size for the appropriate sign. And based on which sign it is that we're making that day, we have to pick the appropriate color for that sign and cover the metal with that material. And once we get the material cut to size for the metal, we use the hydraulic roller that presses down onto the uh, material in the metal and puts the material on the uh, sheet metal. So here I'm taping up the sign and getting it ready for the next process, which will be using the hydraulic roller to press onto the material and sign. So here we're blanching the corners of the sign to prevent any injuries from the sharp corners. So the last process is punching the holes in the sign so it can be easily installed on a U-channel post. And here is our finished sign ready for hanging. Well guys, that didn't take long at all. Uh, thank you, Justin. Thank you, Omar. And uh, that's how your street signs in the city of Gastonia get made. We'll see you next time.